In this video we are going to talk about how to write a father of the bride speech, a step-by-step -step guide. Before continuing this video like this video and subscribe to our channel best for brides for future updates. Your daughter's wedding day is a momentous occasion, a day that you have always dreamed of. It is also one that involves your active participation. From walking the bride down the aisle to delivering the father of the bride speech and the father-daughter dance, you have many responsibilities on this special day. Like most fathers, you may be nervous about the much-anticipated father of the bride speech. There may be many questions in your mind, how do you compress the memories of a lifetime into a short speech? Should you be serious or humorous? How do you make it memorable? Fortunately, the experts at Best for Bride know a thing or two about this demanding task. Read on for the complete guide on how to write a father of the bride speech. Essential Steps to Writing a Fantastic Father of the Bride Speech The best way to tackle the task is to break your speech down into smaller parts and work on just one aspect at a time. Here is a basic outline of what your speech should contain. Of course, you can always add or remove sections as you wish. Begin your speech by briefly introducing yourself. Keep it short and crisp. Add a joke or quote to catch everyone's interest and relax the mood if you are comfortable. Welcome and thank the guests. Formally welcome all the guests and thank them for their presence. Give a dedicated shout out to the groom's parents and anyone else who deserves it. Talk about your daughter. Every bride eagerly looks forward to hearing her father speak about her on her big day. So, use this opportunity to convey your unending dedication pride, and affection for your daughter. Make it enjoyable by taking a trip down memory lane. Include heartwarming incidents from the past where your precious girl made you smile. Mention her achievements and tell her how proud you are of the woman she has become. This is also the chance to include any interesting or funny anecdotes to entertain the guests but not embarrass your daughter. Talk about your son-in-law. Acknowledge the groom and formally welcome him into the family. Make him feel special by sharing details of the excellent impression he has made on you and why you think he will be a good partner for your little girl. You can also share exciting incidents during their courtship or interactions with him. Words of Wisdom After communicating all that has been, it is time to look to the future. Of course, everyone expects dad to impart wisdom to the newlyweds. So, use this opportunity to advise the couple. You could share your own experiences of what makes a happy marriage. Or you could give general life advice. Make it humorous if you wish, but not embarrassing or frightening. Keep it short to prevent anyone from feeling bored. Toast the newlyweds. Conclude your speech by wishing the newlyweds a happy and prosperous future. Try to make your conclusion as personalized as possible, and your toast will linger in the guests' minds for a long time. Now that we have gone through the basic outline of the speech let us look at a few pointers to take your speech to the next level. Get inspired. Did you know that a bit of research can go a long way in helping you create a fantastic speech? Browse the internet, and you will find plenty of examples. Use these as a starting point and find inspiration to create your speech. If you are not confident in your speechwriting abilities, you can always seek professional help. Professional writing services experts can do the hard work for you and create the perfect father of the bride speech based on your requirements. Get the timing right. If you are nervous, you may want to keep it brief. However, if you are a natural on the stage, you may find it difficult to stop talking. When planning the length of your speech, your aim should be to convey your message engagingly. The ideal length of a speech is 5 to 7 minutes. Shorter addresses will be quickly forgotten, while longer ones can become tiresome. So, keep your toast short and sweet. Add humor only where appropriate. Humor is an easy attention grabber. However, it is not easy to inject humor seamlessly. Not everyone has the talent for it. So, if you aren't good at it, don't push it. 
You do not want to look like you are desperately trying to make people laugh. If humor is not your forte, create a strong impression with a heartwarming speech. Should you decide to add a few jokes, be brief and discreet since you don't want to make anyone upset. Let your emotions through. The day your daughter gets married is the celebration of a lifetime. It is natural to feel emotional or overwhelmed. Embrace these feelings wholeheartedly. Let your daughter know how much you love and care for her. It is okay to genuinely admit how difficult it is to let your daughter go. It may even become one of her fondest memories of the day. Edit and practice till you are perfect. It is nearly impossible to come up with the perfect speech in one try. First, prepare the rough draft and read it aloud. Then, make necessary changes and fine-tune it several times until it sounds perfect. You need not memorize it since you can carry notes to the venue. But practice it several times till the sequence comes to you quickly. It will help you appear more confident and make eye contact with the couple and guests during the speech. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. Please subscribe to our channel Best for Bride for future updates and visit our website www.bestforbride.com.